Now we are discussing about Argyll diagrams. Argyll diagrams. So generally, Argyll diagrams deals with a, a qualitative relation. A qualitative relation between a term symbol and ligand field strength. Ligand field strength. Okay. Now generally, a plotted a plot versus a, like a term symbol here it is the term symbol either f term or d term uh, versus ligand field strength ligand field strength okay if the ligand field strength is more then Argyll diagrams are not obeyed okay so generally Argyll diagrams are applicable for high spin complexes high spin complexes okay it is not used not used for low spin complexes for low spin complexes so these three points are very important now here generally qualitative relation between the term symbol versus ligand field strength is nothing but Argyll diagram <coughs> excuse me now the Argyll diagrams is applicable for only high spin complexes it does not use it for the low spin complexes now we are going to the uh, different uh, types of Arg <coughs> Argyll diagrams in d1 to d9 configuration so before going to the those d1 to d9 configuration now we have to remember the, some previous lecture topic uh, which is nothing but a uh, splitting of d and uh, f terms d2 now here the term is 2d 3f 4f 5d okay now here in case of three terms it having the first excited state it having the first excited state Okay, now we are also aware about uh, the similar opposite terms. Similar, opposite, similar, opposite, similar, opposite, similar, opposite. So these are the splitting in case of D and F terms. D and F terms. Now we have to discuss about uh, different electronic configurations uh, splitting patterns. Different electronic configurations splitting factor. Now we will go with the D1 configuration. So the D1 means the best example for the D1 titanium H2O 6 times plus 3. Okay. Now here we have, we have observed a, sh a shoulder peak. Now we discussed in a, uh, in a clear cut manner how it is uh, how it is observed. What is the reasons for this shoulder peak. Okay. Now here D1 means D1 regarding to the term D. So term D. This term here it, it follows the electron promotion. We are already discussed in our lecture. Okay. Electron promotion. So electron promotion D1 is nothing but uh, similar to the octahedral splitting. Similar to the octahedral splitting. That means T2G level is a ground state. EG level at the higher energy level. Now here the splitting like this. Okay. Now it is a T2G here EG. So the term symbol is 2D. Term symbol is 2D. So this spin multiplicity carried by the each and every energy level. Okay. This is the okay, battery center. Now here T2G 0 0.4. Here it is 0 0.6. We are, all, we are already about, uh, know, knowing about it. Okay. Now here 2TG to 2EG. Now here only one transition is possible. Only one transition is possible. Okay. But uh, it exp exp according to the experimental data, so now the transition uh, like uh, absorbance versus uh, like a uh, wave number it gives the a uh, shoulder peak we are we are already discussed about titanium h2o 6 times plus 3 okay so so it shoulder peak due to the dynamic john teller distortion Gi dynamic john teller distortion dynamic john teller distortion so due to the dynamic john teller distortion these EG and T2G terms again furtherly split it into further two times. Okay. Again furtherly split it into another two energy levels. Now here it is EG. It is T2G. Okay. So EG terms split it into two levels. Now again T2G terms split it into another two levels. Okay. Now here EG terms split it into B1G, A1G, like a B2G. Easy. So these are the terms. Uh, all are having the uh, multiplicity with the same same multiplicity regarding to the our uh, term D two. Okay. Now here it forms. It follows the like a uh, three possible transition. Now it follows the three possible transition. But however, so this is a very uh, lesser transition. So it is not observed in this spectrum. That's why here EG level can can possible for the two energy levels. 
can possible for the two energy levels. Now here we observe the like a diagram like this. It is T two G. Now here these two are easy. Now we will get the two transitions. Now we will get the two transitions. So these two transitions are very similar energy. Now here it is a similar energy level. So due to the similar energy level, so those two transitions will overlap together. Which overlap together and it forms the a broad shoulder peak. A broad shoulder peak. Okay. Again, I repeated my sentence. Now here it is a neglect negligible in case of T two G spectrum. Now here two A one Z, two B one Z, two A one Z, two B one Z. Now these two E G terms can split it like very small energy gap. Now here the T two G two E.g., two transitions are possible. These two transitions having the lesser energy graph. So, due to the similarity of the energy levels, they both are uh, overlap together, and it forms the a shoulder peak, uh, and it gives the a shoulder peak uh, in a spectrum. In spectrum, this is the uh, F term. Now, here among the D term without Jantler distortion, now ground term is T two G with Jantler distortion. Ground term is two E.g. Ground term is two E.g. Now. We are discussing about a D nine configuration. Now we are discussing about a D nine configuration. Okay, so the ground term symbols in D one config D D one configuration T two G without Jantler distortion. So with Jantler distortion, E G with uh, multiplicity two. Now we are discussing about a D nine configuration. So D nine configuration, whether similar to the octahedral or opposite to the octahedral. So opposite to the octahedral. So that means uh, opposite structure. Now here we observe the whole inversion. So that's why it is opposite structure. Now the term is two uh, D. Okay, sorry, two D. So now here opposite means uh, so higher energy level is T two G, lower energy level is E G, lower energy level is E G. Now again we will get the this type of. Uh, Electronic transition only one electronic transition. But uh, whenever in case of copper H two O six times plus two, here copper H two O six times plus two means D nine configuration. D nine configuration it is it shows the large Jantler distortion. Okay. Now here the due to the Jantler distortion, this spectrum again furtherly splitted into two energy levels. This spectrum furtherly splitted into two energy levels. Okay. Sorry. Okay, now here this is the E G term. This is the T two G term. Now here B one Z, A one Z, B two G, E G. Okay, B one Z, A one Z, B two G, E G. So it maintains the whole spin multiplicity. Whole spin multiplicity. Now here it is possible for the three types of. Uh, Three spin allowed transition, three or spin allowed transition. Now here the ground term symbol is too easy. So several times they are asking about a CSI question. So the ground term symbol of certain complexes. So it is belongs to the D nine. D nine orbital diagram is two D. It is split into two E G and two T G. It it may be without Jantler distortion two E G with Jantler distortion two B one G. So they are asking about a, so many questions in. Uh, CSIR for four marker question for four marker. Okay, now here we observed three possible transition, three possible spin allowed transitions. So these pos three possible spin allowed transitions are being the like a uh, uh, energy gap. Uh, now here, so these two energy levels uh, having the poor uh, poor uh, like a uh, Jantler distortion in T two G level. It having the poor Jantler distortion. That means the poor Jantler distortion. So all the energy levels are. Uh, Will match it together, then it gives the all the three energy levels uh, overlap together due to the its poor dynamic uh, Jantler distortion. Now it's shown on the broad peak. It's shown broad peak. Okay, this is the uh, term symbol for the D nine configuration. Now we are discussing about uh, D four electronic configurations, D four electronic uh, Argyll diagrams. Now we are discussing about. Uh, D four electronic configuration. D four electronic configuration. The best example is C R H two O six times plus two. Okay. Now here D four H two O means uh, it is term for the five D. So five D term. So here it is. Uh, it follows the whole inversion. So in case of whole inversion, 
okay a whole inversion can be measured like this also here it is a inversion hole is there that means it is a whole inversion now here phi d so that means uh, opposite to the octahedral speed opposite to the octahedral speed that's why it follows the like opposite manner opposite means uh, t2 g level present at the higher now e g level present at the lower one now here the term is phi d it is phi b is phi t2 g okay without uh, uh, without john teller distortion no phi e g is the ground term symbol now with john teller distortion it furtherly splitted into like two times furtherly splitted into two types of each orbital now here t2g again splitted into two levels eg again splitted into two levels now here the term is phi d it is phi eg phi t2g phi t2g now here the term splittings like this b1g a1z b2z easy so each each cat each term which carried with a spin multiplicity phi now here we observed the three possible transitions three possible transitions so now the possible three possible transitions representation like this here three possible transitions are there possible transitions so those representation is now here the ground term symbol uh, write the right side again it shown the arrow mark towards the left side and then write the higher energy level phi a1z so this is the representation of a transition now the next next transition is phi b1z2 like a phi b2g phi b2g again the third transition is phi b1z2 phi ez phi ez here the three terms uh, new one new two new three okay these three terms will having the similar energy okay these three terms will having the similar energy that's why it shows it shows a poor shield poor dynamic john teller distortion okay now here it shown five uh, five b1g to five b2g again five b1g to five eg they both are closer together the both the transitions like a new two and a new three superimposed together superimposed together and appears both as a similar like a 16,000 centimeter inverse so these two appears at a single one at the 16,000 centimeter inverse now we observe the uh, plot uh, absorbance versus uh, new bar at 16,000 centimeters it shown uh, like a broad band due to the uh, superimposability of uh, second and third transition now here it observes the 10,000 band 10,000 centimeters again 16,000 centimeters now it's shown two bands one is 10,000 uh, another one is at 16,000 centimeter inverse okay now we will look out uh, the d6 configuration d6 configuration Now we are discussing about a D6 configuration. The best example is FeH2O6 times plus 2. So D6 means here the term is a phi D. The term is a phi D. Now here D6 is a similar to the opposite, similar to the octahedral splitting, similar to the octahedral splitting. That means so the ground state will have in the T2G term and the excited state will have in the EG term. Now the term is phi D multiplicity. With uh, retains okay now here in case of feh2 6 times plus 2 ground term symbol is phi t2g in previous cases uh, crh2 6 times plus 2 the phi eg is the ground term symbol whenever here we observed some spin orbit coupling so again it furtherly split it into like uh, two level two energy levels now here it is a uh, uh, b1g a1g b2g easy b2g easy so all have the spin multiplicity with phi so here easy and t2g okay sorry eg and t2g now it is also having the phi spin multiplicity phi spin multiplicity okay now here we observed uh, three possible transitions three possible transitions but here this is two uh, the spin orbit coupling due to spin orbit coupling now these two are uh, uh, it shown uh, these two energy levels very closer like uh, similar to the d1 configuration now it shown two closer energy levels again so these two appears as a single one now here phi t2g again he z as the two orbitals now here we will get the two transitions we will get the two possible transitions so those are at available 10,000 and 11,000 centimeter inverse so these two are very closer energy levels that's why they both are appeared as a broad peak they both are appeared as a broad peak okay so this broad peak will uh, due to the spin orbit uh, coupling this broad peak will due to the spin orbit coupling now we are discussing about uh, so four d uh, terms four d terms one is uh, like d1 again another one is uh, d9 
d4 d6 all are the d terms okay all are the d terms one is a similar another one is opposite a similar opposite now we will get the this type of structures now we are looked out up to the f term configurations f term configurations now we are uh, discussing about uh, f term orbital splitting f term orbital like uh, f term orbital diagrams f term orbital diagrams f term means d2 d8 d3 d7 configuration now we are going to the d2 configuration that means uh, like a uh, vanadium h2o 6 times uh, plus 3 vanadium h2o 6 times uh, plus 3 here it is the d2 configuration d2 configuration so d2 is it belongs to the f term so f term here f term f3 f the configuration the term is a 3f okay now here d2 means opposite to octahedral splitting opposite to octahedral splitting that means here electron promotion takes place now it is opposite to the octahedral splitting opposite to the octahedral splitting so now we have the like f term like this it is similar now here t1z t2z a2z it is similar now here opposite means uh, like this like uh, uh, a2z t2z t1z Now we observe the gra graph like that. So now it is the graph like. That. Okay. Now here t1z, t2z, a2z. T1z, T2z, A2z. But here the term is a 3f. It is very ground state energy level. So we are already discussed in all possible term symbols of a D2 configuration. Again, it having the first excited state. That means a 3p. That means a 3p. It having the certain energy. So the Mulliken symbol of a p is a T1z. We are already discussed in previous lecture. Okay. Now, so the total terms having the spin multiplicity 3. That's why all our spin multiplicity retains their 3. Okay. Now here this Term belongs to the P. Now we observed three possible transition. Now one three three T one Z two three T two Z. Again the second one is three T one Z two three A two Z. Now the third one is like a three T one Z two three T one Z P three T one Z two three T one Z P. Now so those possible three term symbols are three T one Z two three T two Z three T one Z two three A two Z. Now three T one Z two Three, T one Z, P term. Okay. Among these possible two term symbols, huh? among these three possible term symbols, now here it is a new one, new two, new three. So new one appears at seventeen thousand five hundred. It is twenty two thousand something. Now here it appears also like very. It it requires very high energy. It requires a very high energy. Now the intensity of a First transition is a three point three. Second transition is six point six. Now the third transition very lesser intensity. That means zero point one or zero point two. That's why the lesser intensity of the third transition it it is not observed. It is not observed. Okay, not the third transition. Uh, now we did not observe the like a uh, second transition. Not the third transition. Okay. Now we did not observe uh, like a three A to Z from three T three. T1z. Okay, this is not absorbed due to this. Like, ah, uh, it requires more energy. It requires uh, more energy. Now we observed only two transitions. Whenever vanadium with water molecule. Okay, in this case, exceptionally, it shown two bands. Otherwise, uh, all the D2 configuration, it shown three bands. Okay, exceptionally, vanadium H2O six times plus three, it gives the two bands only. Okay, now we will go through the D8 term. Now we will go through the D8 term. Okay, D eight term. Okay, very easier. That is easier. D eight means ah, uh, it is similar to the uh, similar to the octahedral splitting. The term is three F. Term is three F. Now here, so in previous case, we observed in previous case we observed a crossover point. Okay, so we did not ah uh, discussed over there. This is called a crossover point. But uh, here there is no crossover point. Now here, so. It is a ripple to each other two p terms. Okay, now here similar similar means t one z at the top, opposite means t one z at the bottom energy level. Now here t one z, t two z, like it is a two z, like it is a two z. Now here the multiplicity retains the same three t a two z, three t two z, three t one z. Here also three t one z, which is belongs to the p, which is belongs to the p term. Now here one transition. Two transitions, three transitions. Now three possible spin allowed transitions. One is three A two G two, 
थ्री टी वन जी सॉरी थ्री टी टू जी नाउ द सेकेंड वन इज थ्री ए टू जी टू थ्री टी वन जी विच इज बिलोंग्स टू यफ टर्म थ्री ए टू जी टू थ्री टी वन जी विच इज बिलोंग्स टू दी टर्म सो दीज थ्री आर दॉसिबल टर्म सिंबल नाउ हियर थ्री ए टू जी इज दि ग्राउंड टर्म सिंबल थ्री ए टू जी इज दि ग्राउंड टर्म सिंबल सो विच इज बेस्ट एक्सापल फॉर द निकल हेच टू सिक्स टाइम्स ओके दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस इयर्स इयर वॉट इज द ग्राउंड टर्म सिंबल फॉर निकल हेच टू सिक्स टाइम्स प्लस टू सो द आंसर इज थ्री ए टू जी थ्री ए टू जी नाउ विल गो बेट अनादर एक्सापल लाइक D3 and D7 configurations. Now we are discussing about D3 and D7. So D3 configuration. So D3 means it is similar to the uh, like a similar to the octahedral. Here the term is for F. Okay, we are already discussed. So here similar means a T1z, T2z, like a T2z. So here the multiplicity which retains the four. Now here the term P4 which is uh, like a uh, repel to each other, repelled. Uh, Takes place here T one Z, which is belongs to the uh, P term. Now here also three possible transitions are there. Three possible transitions. Now here the ground term symbol is four A two G. Ground term symbol is four A two G in case of D three configuration. In case of D three configuration, that means chromium H two O six times plus three. Okay. Now here uh, the transitions are four A two G two four T one Z. Now four A two G two like four here four T two G four T one Z. 4a to g2 4t1z which is belongs to the p term so these three are the possible term symbols in case of d3 in case of d3 now we will go through the d7 configuration d7 configuration d7 configuration so in case of d7 configuration that means uh, it is uh, d7 means opposite to the octahedral opposite to the octahedral the term is 4 that means uh, here we observed a spin a crossover point a spin crossover point that means here t1z t2z a2z like here t1z p term t1z p term now here the first transition second transition third transition first second third transition now here the ground term symbol is t1z the multiplicity is 4p and 4p Now here four 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 four. So now the possible three term symbols, uh, three transitions are four T one Z, four T two Z, four T one Z, four T one Z P term, four T one Z like a four A two Z, four A two Z. Now here, so the second one is four A two Z. The third one is four T one Z. Second one is four A two Z. Third one is four T one Z, which is belongs to the P term, which is belongs to the P term. So these are the term symbols we are discussed about all the D and F orbital, D and F terms, which are split into further levels. Okay. Now, so in two to three minutes, I will give the very simple trick regarding to the uh, identification of argal diagrams of each and every F and D terms, each and every F and D terms. Okay. Now we have to look out to the a simple trick on the uh, orgel diagrams okay. now we are discussing about a very simple trick for the d and f terms okay now here d term trick okay trick means a very easier so now here so now we observed a, like a spin a margin of the graph so it is the cross sectional point it is the cross sectional point now here it is a eg level t2g level now here eg level it is t2g level okay now we observed uh, eg t2g t2g is the ground state is similar to the octahedral similar to the octahedral okay it is similar to the octahedral it is opposite to the octahedral okay now here similar to the octahedral so this type of splitting is observed in d1 case as well as d6 case okay in octahedral d1 and d6 so we observed like this type of splitting very easier okay now in this cases so octahedral which is quite opposite so opposite to the like uh, opposite to the octahedral splitting in d orbital d term is a uh, d9 as well as d4 okay in case of octahedral d9 and d4 okay so but quite opposite to, very easy I, i i don't go to the uh, detailed discussion about tetrahedral discussion uh, tetrahedral splitting terms now here so here d4 d9 octahedral is similar so they are quite opposite that means uh, the uh, d4 d9 over there now d1 d6 uh, present over here in case of tetrahedral d1 d6 so if d1 uh, let us assume d1 is similar to the octahedral in oct uh, in octahedral now it is uh, like easy and t2g 
but in case of tetrahedral the d1 configuration it is quite opposite it is quite opposite so that's enough okay it is quite opposite okay so now here octahedral d1 d6 tetrahedral d4 d9 now here octahedral d4 d9 tetrahedral d1 d6 so this is the trick regarding to the like d term now we are discussing about the f term trick very easy eh? f term very easier okay so f term that here the, we are observed like a three terminology one is p term another one is uh, f term so now here f term okay now again like um okay now okay now here so this is the t1 z t2 z a to z now here like a to z t to z t1 z a to z t2 z t1 z if t1 z is a upper side now we observe the p term is like a repulse p term is repelled p term is repelled okay now here in case of a a to z is upper side now the p term is crossover point crossover point crossover point crossover means opposite to the octahedral similar means a ripple to each other ripple to each other this is belongs to the t1zp t1z p term okay now here we observe the crossover point in case of opposite opposite splitting okay opposite splitting of f term but uh, we observe the similarity in similar splitting of the f term okay now in the left side in octahedral cases so opposite splitting in the left side is a d2 as well as a d7 d2 as well as d7 now in case of octahedral similarity is d3 as well as d8 d3 as well as d8 in tetrahedral cases both are quite opposite d2 d7 now here tetrahedral means d3 d8 so in case of tetrahedral and octahedral so we use the octahedral term z so without z is tetrahedral so now here d2 is a similar to is opposite to the octahedral in f term splitting in octahedral geometry so over the tetrahedral geometry it shown the quite a similar to the octahedral splitting similar to the octahedral splitting this is very clear cut explanation about the orgel diagrams okay so the last two minutes very helpful to predicting the structures so before we know the each and every basic point then only we uh, observed this trick very easy okay thank you for watching